Oh yeah, baby, we're back, and I hope you guys are all doing very well, and I hope you guys are all crushing life. Now, remember George was blown up last video. He's actually not blown up, but he's broken. He's, he's out of commission. We're just gonna say he's out of commission. And we started test driving new, uh, newer than George, at least new to me, F-150s, just some other trucks. We've been in the market for a new truck. Unfortunately, we have to get one. I would love to go get a C7 Corvette. I'd love to go get a Toyota 86 or a Scion BRZ or anything. Just something that I could build on a car. I'd love to go get one, but unfortunately, with having Darla here, a truck is more reliable, and especially with being in Ohio, it is very, very, very much needed with the weather changes, and it's, it's, it's incredibly stupid, but we've, had to, we've needed to get a truck. Now, we did test drive one F-150, and I believe I had that in the last video. Yes, it was a Sterling Ray F-150, same color as Darla. And then I said something later on that we found a different F-150 that we didn't get to go test drive, but I'd like to say that fast forward one week to today, we have taken delivery of that F-150. She sounds so good, guys. Those corset streams on the Coyote motor just sound so, so good, guys. Now, with that F-150, I did say in the last video, it is set up completely different. Now, when I said that, it was not meant to be taken as an understatement. It is set up completely different from how the other F-150 that we test drove is set up. Now, the only reason why I got it is because if I were to do these things to this truck, which I probably wouldn't have, it would have saved me a lot of a lot and I mean a lot of money in the end now I said too much well I'll say nothing at all welcome back to the channel boys and welcome back to the vlog and at the same time welcome George 2.0 Now you guys can see for yourself that this truck is completely different from what I was expecting to get going from the bumper, the headlights, the taillights, the wheels, the tires, the lift kit. Guys, everything about this truck, I was not even close to being, ex I was not expecting anything like this buying an F-150. But for the amount of money that I paid for this truck, I just couldn't, I couldn't resist to take it. And you guys want to see the best part? Check this out. Guys, it has a full Starlight headliner in already, and it's the same exact one that is inside Darla right now, which is crazy because no matter what, I was going to do a Starlight headliner, and anyways, even though it's just going to be my daily, I was still going to do a Starlight headliner, but that is the first thing that I noticed as soon as I saw the truck and went for a test drive. That is the first thing I saw and I was just completely mind blown. That all being said guys, the truck does have some minor problems that we can all handle and fix together and that all comes down to the point of it just being surface rust. Now it's not too bad, but it's not. That it's definitely not too great. The whole undercarriage just has a lot of surface rust. I've already, while I was there, I checked the entire thing just to make sure that we're good. It's not going. There's no rusting through. The frame's solid. The frame is completely solid, guys. We have nothing to worry about. But we do need to get a wire wheel and some frame paint, and we are going to brush this entire frame down, get all the surface rust, clean it all up, and make sure this frame looks brand spanking new. Now I do got one more big problem with this truck, and that all comes down to the tune. Guys, when I tell you this, the tune is non-existent. The tune on this truck is non-existent for the things that have been done. They have done a cold air intake on this truck. You don't need a tune, but it does help a little bit. Uh, they've done a full exhaust, catalytic converters are taken off, which no, which if you guys know, if you guys have ever taken off a catalytic converter, if you guys start the truck, check engine light comes on. If it's not tuned to have that to, you know, so the truck knows that there's no catalytic converters, your gas mileage will be horrible. 
Now, the biggest reason why I bought an EcoBoost was for the gas mileage. Not to have 10 and a half, gallon, 10 and a half miles per gallon. If that's what I wanted, I would have gone out and gotten the Coyote or even a diesel, guys. I wouldn't even care because my, my Darla right now is having better gas mileage by literally like a mile. Now, once we get the tune and cover the and clean up the surface rust, this truck will be almost spot on and completely perfect in my opinion. The exhaust is really not that bad, guys. Even though it is a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 motor, it's straight piped all the way out to a MBRP uh, rot rotary style muffler, I believe. I don't really know the complete exhaust setup. That's just what I've took in from the dealer, but it doesn't sound too bad. I told you guys, it doesn't sound that bad. You guys can hear the little turbo in it. And even though it's a little EcoBoost, you can hear the I can't whistle, so I'm trying to mock the turbo noises. But it doesn't sound that bad, guys. Honestly, for a straight piped V6 EcoBoost F-150, that might be the best sounding exhaust I think I've ever heard being straight piped. Those few couple baby revs that we've done, you can smell how rich this exhaust and this whole truck is running just because of the fact there is absolutely no tune on it. So first things first, gotta get the tune fixed and we definitely, definitely need to cover and clean up all this surface rust. Now you guys know it ain't my car unless it collects moisture in the headlight. Darla collected moisture in the headlight for so long, finally got it fixed after almost over a year of owning these headlights. And now we're stuck with the same problem. So therefore, I'm just, accept I'm just accepting that this is my curse. Every vehicle I have from now on is always going to be collecting moisture. Seeing both of these cars sit right beside each other just makes me, it just looks so cool. It just looks so cool. But the thing that does kind of throw it off a little bit are definitely the headlights on the F-150 just because they're completely chrome compared to Darla being all blacked out in the front. So that might actually need to change. I don't really know yet, but gosh, guys, just look at them two together. We might even need a cow hood. That would be even sick. He has imagined a cow hood on the F-150. Oh my gosh, that would be so sick. Another thing that I'm really scared of, and as you guys know that I'm really scared of it, is the rubbing. Like, I never drove Dylan's truck because I was so scared of the rub because this stuff, it's not, it's not cheap. But I'm glad it's on. I'm on an F-150 learning how to do it because they're a lot more cheaper than like the bigger diesels and like all their steel bodies. It's, this is a lot cheaper, and it already has a steel bumper, so we should be good to learn. And this, I've already learned that this George 2.0 rubs like a complete bit. from my headlights all the way to Brandy's headlights, they just look so much better. Should I get somewhat of the same headlights with the ambient lighting? Guys, that might be the move. It looks so much better. I think those are the exact headlights that we might try to find. Now, I'm a car guy by all means, guys. I am not a truck guy at all. I know absolutely not a single thing about trucks, but I do have to say that the Cummins is the most rowdiest sounding truck ever. That was a beautiful, beautiful C5 Corvette, guys. I can't even lie. I feel like a little kid here. I've never noticed how fun it is. This thing is a dump. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh.
nobody ain't after me. Well, thankfully we made it back safe all in one piece and we did not get pulled over. Thank God he did not make pull Yui and just light us up. Cause that is, this is the last thing we wanted to pull in. Pulled up, uh, pulled, uh, pulled over in. This is not our truck and I do not want to, I just don't even want to deal with it guys. I don't want to deal with it. But it is starting to rain a little bit. Um, I have Darla pulled in halfway just cause the hood has new paint. Speaking of the new paint, actually speaking of the new paint. From the hood, and, and some, uh, man, I don't know how to say it. I don't want to feel like I'm hating. I'm not hating. But in lower light, you can definitely tell right here. Yeah, I, think, I, I don't know if the camera's doing adjusters or not, but you can definitely tell that the hood is a lighter shade than the actual car. Which, it doesn't bother me too much because it's not too big of a different. But like if you really sit there and look at it, you can see that it's just a different shade. So I don't know whether or not if I should get my fenders blended or not. But if there's any paint experts watching my watching this video right now, please comment down below. Tell me what I should be doing, what I should do with this, and how I should take this. If I should get the fenders blended or if I should try to get the hood rematched. Because I do have a lifetime warranty. You tell me I do have a lifetime warranty on the paint. Tell me if uh, just comment down below. Tell me if I should get the fenders blended. If that's what I'm, if that's what my problem is, just the fenders not blending from that's that's just the difference between new paint and old paint. So just comment down below, please. Let me know what I should do and help me out in this situation because I'm honestly kind of lost when it comes to paint. I am not your guy. Besides correcting it, I'm detailing. I'm perfectly fine. Getting it new painted. Ayo oh, mio, that's that's completely out of my range. So I don't really know, but. On Darla, we do have some brand new things coming within the next week. So fingers crossed, they all get they get all get here in time, and all in one piece. So hopefully, within the next week or so, we do have a couple videos coming out with Darla. But this week is going to be very exciting. I think back to the first George, back to our Chrome Ranger. I think we might have something very interesting coming this weekend for George. But again, guys, have. Don't want to say too much without saying nothing at all. I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. And remember guys, don't ever hold back.